Recorded live in living rooms, rec rooms, and home offices in St. Louis and Edwardsville, it's the Cougar Coaches Quiz Show. Hey, 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 welcome back. I'm your host, Joe Pott, Jiving Joe P for another episode of the Cougar Coaches Quiz Show. And we've got three more contestants here to try their luck against one another. Let's introduce you to our contestants. First of all, all the way from College Station, Station, Texas, we've got Brian Batone, the bat, Brian Baroni, our head basketball coach. Welcome, coach. Thanks for having me, Joe. Appreciate it. Next up, she is fishing for the right answer. It is Paula Fisher, if you will. Paula Busher, our head basketball coach. She is all the way from Peoria, Illinois. Welcome, coach. Ready to ring in a winner. And last but not least, He's the shortest on hair today. It's Baldy. It's Kale Wasserman, all the way from Southfield, Michigan, our head men's soccer coach. Welcome to the show, coach. My, my one-year-old child has more hair than me. I'm proud of it. Let's go. We are going to jump right in. We've got 10 questions coming at you. The top two finishers are going to advance to the next round. And I've got to give a shout out to our teachers who have helped us out with some of the questions today. That's Ms. Michelle McKee of Bethalto East Primary, Ms. Carrie Lugie of Parkside Primary, and Ms. Tammy Williams of Bethalto helping us out with the questions that are gonna stump our coaches. They have got their trusty rusty answering devices in hand and they're ready to go here. And we're gonna jump right in. Question number one, we're getting ready. It is coming at you now. How many letters are in the alphabet? How many letters in the alphabet? The quicker you answer, the more points you're going to get. We're off and running. Episode three of the Cougar Coaches Let's Quiz go. Show. Oh, somebody is already behind the eight ball. Let's Who go. is it? Who is it? Oh, oh, coach couldn't reel in the right answer in question number one. <laughs> oh, simple stuff, guys. Come on. You got confused with uh, losing a planet, Pluto. <laughs> Well, you're just a few points behind, so no worries. And we've got plenty of questions to come. <laughs> we've so got mad. nine more questions to come, and we're going to switch things up. We're going to go a little history this time. Question number two, what site was the headquarters for George Washington's army in the winter of 1777 into 1778? Looking for the headquarters. headquarters. Give me green, baby. Give sure me green. But it's a start. There we go. Oh, boy. We got two correct answers and another wrong answer. Who got the wrong one this time? Oh, my goodness. I'm you got to get a different bait on that poll. I, I know. You. Definitely not catching any right answers yet, Coach. No. I just like <laughs> – I want to see how many – I'm going to go to a different there. fishing hole. <laughs> Let's see if you have any luck. We're sticking with history, though. We're going a little farther back. Here comes question number three. It's of the world history variety this time. William the Conqueror was known for conquering what island country? That's a tough hit right there. Island. That's nice. Island Sweet. country. Ooh, I can't go back, huh? If I, if I click no, on one. Surrounded by water. I do not think that you can go back. And we have, again, two got it. One didn't. Coach, did you get it by this that, time? I mean... There you go. <laughs> Look at the streak. I'm playing left-handed, too. Oh, whoops. By the way, I'm playing left-handed. Yeah, a broken clock is right twice a day, Coach Baroni. Don't get your hopes up. I'm done. All right. We're going to switch it up a little bit. We've tried our history. How about a little math this time for question number four? No, no Here one comes a math be question in question no number four. How many vertices does a cube have? Come on. Visual aids, there's your picture. No idea. Oh, <laughs> split decision this time. Split decision and nobody got it right. Wrong again, come on. What was the, what was the correct answer? The correct answer was eight. Eight vertices, yeah, vertices. Eight I thought you said vertices. vertices. I thought you said vertices, that's on me. I should have known. Makes sense. Ver I'll yeah, try to, eight. I'll eight. try to be more clear. It's eight, yeah. It's a, please, please do. All right, we're getting to the halfway point. Question number five. Now a little English, how about? Question number five. Here it is. What is alliteration? Alliteration. Ooh. 
Someone was quick on the answer that time. Yeah, I gotta get serious here. Was oh, it correct? I'm ready for battle. Oh, I like it. Wrong again, I just I got... wanted to redo it. Baldy's going into protocol. Here we go. Uh oh. Let's see how it does for him because we're halfway through now, and Coach Fisher still the not over. Real good. It's one of those days. She's locked it's not, in though. It's she not been a good day on the water. Very no. consistent. Very no. consistent. I am extremely consistent. We're going back to math as we get into the second half of our questions now. Back to math. Be Here clear. comes the question number six. If you add the square root of 16 with the square root of 9, the answer you get is the square root of what? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, baby! That was good. That, that was a good math one. That's about how it feels to me, looking at that chalkboard like that guy. Where am I here? <laughs> No, we're in crunch time, guys. I got to really focus now. Man. Oh, hey, wait. Right. Sometimes the internet will get you. That interweb's getting you, Paula. I need to it get will. that credit for that one. I got credit oh. for that one. How are you so, ahead of me? We'll throw you a few points. All right, thanks. Two, three. I'll get <laughs> Better go back to this. So I can't see anymore. Got over a thousand there, and, and Coach Baroni. How are we even getting rigged? points? This game must be points, rigged. Points showing he... up. I have all four of my kids right behind me right now. And I... oh, You're he's... using the lifeline, huh? Hey, no, I'm just doing he's... the. All he's got his glasses on. He's going. He yeah. has. He has switched into concentration mode. Not me. He's cheating. So. We have four questions to go, four questions remaining. And the next one is coming at you now. It's question number seven. Hopefully you remember the rhyme. Which planet is closest to the sun? Baldy was shaking his head right off the oh, bat. I'm gonna be honest, uh, I have no clue. <laughs> that was, that was uh, closest button to the thumb. You don't know the rhyme, huh? My <laughs> By very that excellent I mean. mother. I did not. What is it? Not. Joe, go with the rhyme. <laughs> My very rhyme. excellent mother just, now I can't remember it all, but it's Mercury is the answer we were looking for there. Is that a rhyme? Was that alliteration? Venus. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, like etc. I don't remember the whole Mercury. rhyme. My very excellent mother just something. But something I can't remember Saturn? anymore. Is something Saturn? Yeah, yes. Just some just S, but I don't know what it was. I don't know the rest of it. But I only needed to get to the M, so I, I would have had the first one. Come on, I need something. All right, Brian, still in the lead by just a little bit more than a thousand points. Coming Coach for still fishing for a correct answer. I'm fishing. And we've got three questions Which to go. Which hands? Three questions to go. Here comes question number eight right now. Here we go. How many minutes are in an hour? Come on. Oh, come my. On. Come on. Come on. Quick answers. Look there at that. We go. We're back. We're locked in. Woo, I got you have one. snagged yourself a correct answer, Coach. I see. I gotta get yeah, it. but it was just a little fish. That's all right. <laughs> Don't throw a bat. Better than no bites. We True. only eat. I don't remember Batman having such a French-looking goatee. Is this a French Batman? Batman's been working on this goatee for about 16 years. Okay, okay. <laughs> Batman in quarantine. It's <laughs> corn fat. We have two questions to go, and our top two are advancing. The drama is building. Question number nine coming at you now into geography. Mexico is bordered on the south by Belize and what other Central American country? Baby. Huh. We're going. Come on, baby. We're going there. Yeah. Boom! Oh, oh look at that. That's is it enough to take over the lead? That's the question. Ooh, that's a shout it out. It is. Santiago Vargas, Who's one of our soccer players. To? From he gets one right answer and gets nine million points. Hey, he I'm has taken the over the lead. Well, Here's the deal, guys. We know who's gonna. We know who's gonna advance right now. I know it's not me. I'm gonna go back to a different fishing hole. But who's gonna win it is the question. 
That is definitely the question. We've got less than it's 200 not, points. On a streak. Or a little more than that 200 one points. Question, See, my right, math's not good either. Jumped 9 million points. Brian, you look like the guy at the beginning of that one Batman that's pretending to be Batman, that, like, goes after the criminals and the real Batman comes out. That's what you look like right now. At least I was in the movie. I was at least in the movie, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Peter Parker over there. Let's go. Come on, give me. All give, right. Let's keep track of the points for real. What is going 72 on? Seventy-two eighty-nine to seventy fifty-two. It's all coming down to this. That's where we have. We've got a little a more than two hundred points between the two of you. So anybody's game here. Not and anybody. here is. Come on, <laughs> put the pressure. Put the pressure on us. Paula, the way these it. point systems going, Paula could get a I could come back with one. Right here. I'm just going to hit a number real fast and see if, it, if it's correct and it hits I, faster than you guys. I like the strategy. Outstanding strategy. Here comes question number 10, our final question. Here it is. What is the correct spelling for a system built to carry water? Oh. Oh. They're all... <laughs> Nobody got it right, which means we're not changing points. Here comes the podium. We think we know who's in third place. She did catch one small fish. One small. I'm going back out to the sun. The bat with silver, and it is Coach Wasserman. Baldy picks up the win. This is ridiculous. I didn't but the good it. news is you have a chance to redeem yourself. You do have another round. You two shall be moving on. Brian and Baldy will be moving on. Coach Wasserman and Coach Baroni. Coach Fisher, we wish you the best of luck in finding a better fishing hole. There's always better days to go fishing. And I thank all three of you for being part of our Cougar Coaches Quiz Show. Easy for me to say, right? Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks. This was fantastic. What a great game we had. And we'll have another episode to come of the Cougar Coaches Quiz Show.